welcome back everyone to the video series Diggy Show on MTV that is ready to torture its contestants. That's right, we're talking about The Challenge Season 38, Episode 17, Part 1 of a three-part finals as this is one of the longest finals in Challenge history, clocking in at a 100 hours. But before we can talk about anything of those finals, let's jump to where we last left off which was the four teams that are remaining because Fessel and Mariah were eliminated last episode by Bananas and Nani. The four teams of Jordan and Anissa, Bananas and Nani, Olivia and Horacio, and Devin and Tori come back to the challenge house and are ready to celebrate. They are excited. They do a cheers with everybody. We hear from Devin and Tori who are ready to shine. We have Bananas promising not to steal the money from Nani, if there is a point where you can steal your, the, the money from your partner if you win. So he says he's not going to do it, but then he gives like a cheeky smile to the camera and everybody's just having a good time. It is announced that this is Anissa's first finals that she has made since season 17, the Duel 2, where her and Mark came in third place. Now she is paired up with Jordan and she's looking to... Just take these finals head on. She says that she gets a lot of criticism online. I have no idea who she could be referring to. Uh, maybe a lot of the fan base, but she is here to show her resilience. She's here to show that she's never going to give up. And she doesn't know that it's going to be a hundred hours long, but in a hundred hours, anything could happen as we are going to see later on in this episode. Now that's everybody's first night coming back to the challenge house. That's when... The next morning shows up and we have some of the younger contestants working out as they're waiting for TJ to just pop up and be like, hey, the finals start now. They don't know if it's this day or in the afternoon or at night or the following day, but all the young players are in the gym and swimming, running around, doing laps, lifting weights while some of the older, more seasoned vets are playing guitar hanging out in their purple robes, drinking some coffee. But that's when TJ comes driving in on his motorcycle and tells everybody to round up everybody, get in front of me because I got some important news to talk to you about the finals, which are starting when you guys get into your car, drive yourself to your campsite for the beginning of what is to be a hundred hour finals, 100 hours is an incredibly long time. Now, that is adding into the drive time, that is talking about sleep time, which is what's gonna happen in the beginning of these finals, but that's still a long time, 100 hours. I really did like how these finals started off with everybody having to drive themselves to around the campsite that they're supposed to be going to. I thought that they were gonna be driven there, kind of like Uber style, but they actually had to drive themselves, which kind of gave this a more personal feel. They got to like talk in the car, hang out with their original partners and like joke around. Once everybody gets to a certain point, they have to exit their vehicles, grab their bags and a trunk that they were all given and hike their way to meet up with TJ and get to their campsites. Now at their campsites, they see this row of Pelotons on platforms. And what TJ tells them to do before you can do anything you have to get into these trunks. And the only way you can get the combination to these trunks to open them up, as a pair, you have to ride 100 kilometers. Once you hit that level as a pair, then you will be able to open up your trunk and grab all your tent stuff and camp supplies and then just hang out, do your thing, go to bed whenever you want to. Everybody has their own strategy going into this pedaling portion as Horacio and Olivia, as the rookies here, want to show everybody that they're here to win. So they want to get done as soon as possible. They want to get first place. Now, on the other hand, Devin and Tori are like, this is just to get your 10 stuff. This isn't necessarily like a phase in the finals to get points. This isn't a race. And they take their time and they get done with this fourth. They get last place in this pedaling portion. They have to set up their tent last behind everybody, but it really does not matter. Jordan and Nisa are pedaling their little hearts out while Bananas is annoying the crap out of Nani. Everybody sets up their tents, they get ready for the night, they all lay down, they get up very early the next morning to see TJ driving in. He tells everybody that the first phase of these finals, or at least this first day, is going to be a race with different sections and different tasks within this race. You're gonna have to complete every single section 
in this race to move forward. When TJ shows up to the campsite, they are 19 hours into these finals. We are a fifth of the way when they start off this race. So everybody's taken off. Devin and Tori are up at the front. Then you have Bananas and Nani, Olivia and Horacio kind of all jumbled up there. Jordan knowing that running and endurance is not his and Anissa as a team's forte. So he decides he wants to take a little shortcut. He knows where they're going. He's like, let's take a shortcut through the woods off the path and maybe we can cut off some time. Well, this turned out to be a really bad idea because Anissa stumbles on a stick, her foot goes into a hole, whatever you want to say, she rolls her ankle. So right now, you have Anissa and Jordan coming into these finals where I thought that they are a severe underdog because 100 hour finals, you're going to be running a ton. You're going to be covering a lot of distance where you know that's not going to help them out in the long run. Badoomch. But now you rolled her ankle and then you know it's going to be really, really bad because at several times during this episode, they comment on this ankle. Anissa can't stop mentioning it at one point. Jordan is getting frustrated because she needs to walk all the time. Then you also have Nani commenting on Anissa's ankle at one point. So to me, it's just screaming bad news all over the place. I mean, this was just red alarm. We didn't even get to the first task of this race and Anissa has rolled her ankle. Speaking of the first stage, we get to the first stage where the teams are going to have to throw 10 bolas and get it on their station's racks. For every two bolas sunk, then they will be able to give a sabotage to a different team. Tori and Devin throw the first two bolas, lock it into their station. They give a nasty drink to Banani, and Banani then sinks two and then gives it right back to Devin. They're going back and forth until they finally are like, let's call a truce. We're not going to sabotage you anymore. You don't sabotage us, and we'll go off and do our own thing. They're sabotaging Olivia and Horacio majority of the time. Jordan and Nisa are sneaky in this task because they're able to get there at last, but they're sinking these bolas like it's nobody's business. And then finally somebody's like, oh yeah, we got to give some drinks to them. They forget all about them. And they're just down these drinks. They leave second. Devin and Tori get done with sinking their bolas. Devin drinks all the nasty fish juice because Tori is a vegan. I mean, come on now. If that's not a true friend to drink all these nasty big beer glasses of nasty fish juice that some were saying that tasted like mayonnaise, ranch, tuna, and maybe prosciutto all ground up into one. That is nasty. But Devin drank all of these and yacked all of them, I'm sure of. But Devin and Tori are able to get done with this first. Then we get our second injury of the finals at this checkpoint because at one point, Olivia is trying to throw her bola across the field and she's holding it by the carabiner and it snags onto her finger when she throws it. It like rips off a big chunk of her finger out. And she is just gushing blood. It is really, really bad. She is also trying to like stay focused while she's getting medical attention. Heck, she's drinking this nasty fish juice while also getting checked out by the medics and getting her finger wrapped. Her and Horacio leave this last because one, they had the most drinks, they had the most drama during this section. It was not looking good for them. Now we get to the second checkpoint where there are 16 tires and one at a time. Teams are going to have to grab onto a tire and run it a long distance to get to a pole. And then they're going to have to stack them up by how these players and teams were eliminated throughout the competition. Devin and Tori get there first. They're in and out. They are able to work smoothly together. They are consistent in their running and their speed. They are looking really, really solid as this is the portion where Jordan is getting the most frustrated with Anissa. She says that she can't run. She needs to walk. But Jordan just wants a little bit of effort shown. But it's just really, really frustrating for them. Olivia, with her hurt finger, is just trying to stay focused on the game, focused at the task at hand. Yes, she has a hurt finger. But that's not going to stop her. Bananas and Nani continue to be a roller coaster during these finals. I mean, they are up and down, up and down. They are laughing together. They are yelling at each other, laughing, yelling. Nothing is consistent. Now, I do want to point something out. When Bananas and Nani's get to this checkpoint, they read the board and it says, at no point should the tires hit the ground. Yet, almost immediately, 
Bananas and Nani has a tire on the ground. And I know why they put this rule on this checkpoint is so people aren't gonna be rolling their tires all the way down the field. They're gonna have to carry them. Now, I'm sure if they didn't give them a consequence, they're gonna say, well, the rule was so that players wouldn't roll it on the trail. But that's not what was said, you know? That's not the rule that was printed on the board. The rule wasn't the tire can't touch the trail at any point, you can't roll your tires. It stays specifically, tires can't touch the ground. So I'll be waiting to see if there is going to be a punishment dealt out to Bananas and Nani at some point. If not, I'm gonna look side-eyed at that, you know? But we're gonna move on because on this second checkpoint, we have Devin and Tori still in first place. They get done with this tire stuff and move on. And then at the next phase, at the third checkpoint, they just have to hit two targets with their golf balls using this giant slingshot. Now, back to the Blind Faith Daily Challenge. Devin was an ace on this slingshot and being able to help other people on this slingshot. So they should be able to take care of this slingshot easily, and they do. They sink like, it looked, from the edit, it looks like they sunk two balls into two targets and that was it. They were done in a blink of an eye and they were able to give a sabotage to anybody. They give a sabotage to Olivia and Horacio. They don't have to hit one target each, they have to hit two targets each. And then Devin and Tori are gone. Bananas and Nani get done with the tire section, move on to the target section. They're like, where the heck is Devin and Tori? And TJ's just sitting there going like, they gone. But this is where we get Bananas and Nani arguing like an old married couple again. It's not until Olivia and Horacio show up to the targets that they are able to hit two right in front of them and head off. Now I've watched this episode multiple times and this is the part that I just, I loathe. I, I hate it so much because even when I know what to expect, it makes it worse because I just want a different outcome to happen at the end of this episode. But you have Olivia who is coming into the slingshot portion, uh, downtrodden because she knows her finger is going to be a problem during this. And then hearing that there are sabotage on top of it is just makes things feel even more impossible. Horacio is able to sink two into the target. Olivia is having some troubles, even just gripping the slingshot to pull it back because of her finger. And then at one point, she pulls back the slingshot and the golf ball is kind of just dangling there and just knowing that the something is, ha is bound to happen, right? Because we're just lingering on that shot and then for a split second, she just lets it go and you see the ball go off screen and then come right back and hit her right between the eyes. And then it is just pools and pools. And I don't know. I'm I, I'm going to be talking about this in tomorrow's Tiny Table Talk. But I'm going to be talking about the most heartbreaking DQs and eliminations in challenge history. How much they have gone through, not only in this episode, but through the whole season, seeing elimination after elimination after elimination, draw after draw after draw, just constantly being tested and thrown down over and over and over again to get to this point. And within the first 24 hours, being disqualified in this way, so heartbreaking. And what is the exclamation to this moment is Olivia being taken off in the ambulance, Horacio saying, like, I can't go with you, but I'm going to see if I can finish this when we all know that that wasn't going to be in the cards. You know, that's not going to that's not going to fly. I mean, he was trying to tell everybody that I'll do extra work. I'll do double the work. Just let me stay and compete for both of us. TJ said it in the beginning of the episode that as long as both players are in here fighting, then you can stay in this game. But. Olivia is taken to the hospital and deemed unfit to finish. I mean, she is being medically DQ'd. And that's when TJ tells Horacio that you're done. I mean, this is the end of your season. And Horacio just lets out everything. I mean, an executive producer has to come out and tell him, like, if there was something I could let you do, I would let you do it, but I just can't. And uh, Horacio just, just lets all of that emotion out. I think that that's an emotion of the whole season just coming out and then this playing out in this way is just so much for him and he's just walking off he's walking off and this was just a tough tough way to see 
a season end absolutely heartbreaking. I don't know what else to say about it, but it was just a sombering moment as you see Horacio kind of walking off and Anise asking, hey, is everything okay? And and Horacio t- telling her what happened with Olivia. And then <sighs> it's just really, really tough. That was just a really tough ending for Olivia and Horacio's season. It was a tough ending to watch for the end of this episode, the end of part one. And we're going to see everybody's reactions. We saw Jordan and Anise's reactions, but... Bananas and Nani and Tori Devin have no idea that Olivia and Horacio are are out of this uh, finals. And that is a tough team. That is a team that is, that was on the rise and a real threat in these finals now gone. Now, I will say that it looks like the scapegoat is over because I felt like even in the finals, Olivia and Horacio were the scapegoats for all the teams to give all their sabotage to. I mean, now at this point, you need to start sabotaging the biggest threat. And yes, you made this pact with each other. But come on now. Jordan and Nisa are not that big of a threat in these games. You know, they they have really no shot of winning, especially with Anissa's hurt ankle, which could possibly lead to her being DQ'd if she gets it checked out. And it's really, really bad. I feel like we've only just hit the topsoil of these finals. And I'm... Looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the rest of the finals and the rest of this race and the rest of the hours to come as we still got, what, like 78, 70 something hours left of these finals where we leave them for this episode. So there's a lot to come. But what do you think about the start of these finals? Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think about Devin and Tori taking an early lead? Do you think Bananas and Nani are going to be able to catch them at any point? Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think is going to happen with Anissa's ankle now that she's rolled it? We've heard different players commentate on her ankle. Do you think that's a bad sign? Or do you think she's going to be able to just like maybe get it wrapped up and continue on with these finals? Let me know that down in the comment section below. And what do you think? about Horacio and Olivia being medically disqualified and the way their season ended. Are you heartbroken to see Olivia and Horacio leave the season like that? Let me know anything and everything down in the comment section below. I want to give a special shout out. Thank you to everyone who supports me over at patreon.com slash angelcakevids. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who is watching this video up to this point. I'll be back really, really soon with more Challenge 38 content, more challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace.